pagka ano, para may pagka tambay kanto, may pagka kwentong barbero style talaga siya. Like the idea for me, ah, the idea for me when you do a live, ibang usapan kasi yung medyo prepared eh. Okay? Although ako naman parang shoot lang 'yan tapos go na ako, 'di ba? As much as possible kasi gusto ko spontaneous eh. Kasi alam niyo bakit? Kung masyado siyang edited and all, then anyone can do that. You know, honestly, anyone can just watch any expert and then pretend there is... But if you're really an expert, you just do it and just go like that, right? Now, pwede mo yung konting edit, lagyan mo ng konting, ano, I don't know, konting uh, figures, facts, gra- graphics there para mas, mas interesting. But, but, you know, social media, these kinds of live, this spontaneity, right? Uh, feeling ko, feeling ko, makes you much more relatable to a lot of people and ma- makes it easier also for you to relate to the people. I mean, a dime basis na not that too many in your feeling sigat. But you know, you would go around and then, like people just come to you and just jokingly they come to, you. "Oh, ikaw meta, ganun." Like they're very comfortable with you because sa tingin ko nung nanonood sila ng live natin, yung sense nila is parang kausap lang nila si Ada. I mean, literally pag nandito sa mga ibang angulo, di ba? Nakikita niyo yung mga imperfections natin, yung mga eye bugs natin, yung mga ganun. So, you think you're literally just sitting down and talking to me there, right? So, there's that kind of spontaneity. There's that kind of relatability. Uh, and in a sense, because immediately, just as I speak, ayan na yung mga trolls, ayan na yung mga... Kasi, konti na nga lang yung trolls kayo na yun. Kailangan natin kayo. Di ba? I mean, <laughs> it gives you this... It, parang nasa stock market ka immediately responding to trend lines and stock. I appreciate it. It's, it's, and and you, you learn to be fast talker and all. But obviously sa akin na yung isa sa mga most heartening aspect na itong social media na ginagawa natin mga kameta is yung mga collaborations natin. Believe me guys, anyone that you think I should have collaborated, I already sent a filler or I already sent an invitation or anything like that. Now kung ayaw nila makipag-collaborate sa akin, I don't know, threaten sila sa akin or I don't know, competitive sila sa akin or I don't know, whatever. Hindi ko na problema yan. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm I, I extended... Uh, you know, invitation to work with many people. Um, and thankfully, thank God, maraming sumagot, maraming very responsive. So, from Dr. Lisandro Claudio, from Secretary Ron Liamas, and so, of course, long-time friend natin si Mark, uh, it, si Kristan, among others. Diba? Maraming, kaya nga yung RR, RRL, RR. Inisip ko nga, triple R eh. RRR. Si Ruben at saka si Ronald. Oh, kasama natin yung mga dalawang Lodi na yan. Di, ang ganda naman yan. The RRW, RRL, RRM. Diba? So, uh, for me, boom. I mean, I, I really appreciate that. I mean, siguro yung mga iba dyan, skeptical sa atin or hater or whatever. It's like, eh, nagpapakit lang mga to. But honestly, hindi. Actually, you know, after those conversations, I feel super good. Like, oh God, parang therapy siya, sabi nga ni Leloy nun. Parang therapy siya kasi, guys, aminin natin, hindi masaya yung mga topics natin most of the time. Like, nagpapatawa ako or something like that because gusto ko na medyo masikmura natin yung mga topics eh. Pero sa to lang, malungkot talaga yung mga topics natin kasi most of the time, mga pinag-usapan natin yung mga, ay, yung mga gulo, yung mga kurakot, mga crooked people, or yung mga, yeah, well, alam niyo na, di ba? Yung mga kababalagan, yung mga ganun. So, so, in a way, when you talk these things true, it makes them, uh, it makes, ayun na may mga trolls natin, You know, it, it makes it a little bit more emotionally digestible, if I can put it that way. All right. Okay. Speaking of, <laughs> transition na tayo. Let's talk about, ito para dadami yung, oh, water lang to guys, ah. Tubig yan. Oh, sustainable reuse bottle. Ashigara Sega. Oh, di ba? Oh, natural mineral. Galing siguro to sa Fuji, ah, Mount Fuji, ah. Okay, okay. Tumari ka to. Okay, 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 okay. Now, speaking of yung masayahin natin na politika, speaking of our in- exciting politics, uh, let's talk about, ayan, bigla naging English ako kasi may mga followers tayo from, hola, okay, okay. Uh, pag-usapan natin na, let's talk about this. Let's talk about <laughs> tomorrow. So, as you know, there are going to be two rallies organized. Um... Bukas yata ito, di ba? So, dalawa yan. Ah, oh, di ba? Don't worry. Hindi lang ako, nandi- uh, hindi lang ako nandito na manglayat or anything like that. I, I'm, I'm really here just to analyze. And I'll tell you the bigger picture. So, there's gonna be two events. One, 
Bagong Pilipinas kick off rally in Kirina Grandstand, Manila, January 28, 2024. Gates open at 2 p.m. Alright, base dito. Oh, kung, kung fake news yan, sisihin nyo si, ano, si Ronald kasi siyang nagpo-forward ng iba sa akin. Isa pa yan. Now, the second one, of course, yung mga kadidiyas natin dyan. Alright, ito naman. Candlelight ra- light Prayer Rally. Oh, ito naman. Candlelight Prayer Rally. Oh, ito, ito, ito. Candlelight Prayer Rally. Ito, ito. Candlelight Prayer Rally. Oh, di ba? Ayan, okay. Ito naman. To be led by former president Rodrigo, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Oh, yeah. Ito naman. January 28, 2024. Andito po, I think Rizal Park ba ito sa Davao? O yung mga dabayan niya natin na followers. Correct ba ito? Sa, sa, Riz, sa Rizal Park, Davao City. Correct. Sa Rizal Park daw. So may Rizal Park. O nga pala may Rizal Park din sa Davao. No? Okay. So yon. Okay. Masaya to, Interesting to. So, assuming tama itong sinan sa akin ni Sir Ronald. Tingnan natin. Actually, ah, guys. Ah, ito, ito. Ito guys, ah. <laughs> interesting na ipapa-drone shot natin yan. Diba? Tingnan natin. Siguro magpa-flexan ng mga drones. Padamihan ng followers. Now, on the surface, it looks like each big family and camp, you know, having their own rally and flexing their muscle and showing their supporters. But apparently, another way that this this is being framed is pro chacha and anti-chacha. So yung bagong Pilipinas, officially, ang sinasabi ng uh, ating minamahal na gobyerno at yung mga minamahal natin mga opisyales, right, of course, ang sinasabi nila, walang kinalaman ito at all sa charter change. Alright? So ito po yung sinabi ng uh, isang undersecretary natin sa Presidential Communications Office. Sabi niya, definitely not, this is an activity by the Executive Department for the Covenant of Bagong Pilipinas. Diba? Next level to a covenant to. Oh, yan. Yes, to charter change. But by the way, speaking of charter change, nagpost ako dito sa Twitter kanina ng survey. Uh, pag dat, uh, tinatanong ko dito, ano yung, ano nyo? Ano yung, <laughs> ano yung bag nyo? Ano yung taking dito sa charter change? So, apat yung options natin dito. Apat yung options. Yung isang options ay, isang options ay, uh, isang option, like, Isang option ay, it's time. Yun yung, it's time. Parang UFC, it's time. Alright, okay. May, yung second option, it's a scam. Alright. Na, and third option, not yet. And fourth option, unsure. So please guys, bumoto kayo. Over the past, uh, ilang minutes na ba? One hour. Over the past one hour, more than 300 people I voted. Oh, ito kasi medyo late na siguro. Kaya usually mas marami pang bumoto. So please, uh, please vote here para lang may idea tayo. Of course, it's not gonna be scientific survey, but I'm sure it's better than Google Trends. Okay, it's gonna be better than some fake surveys out there. Uh, so, paki-check yan. Uh, so, so far, nag-lead ang it's a scam. <laughs> 69%. 17 sabi na not yet. So, that's almost what? 90%, right? Lampasan... Uh, lampas sa 90%, 96%, uh, lampas sa, yeah, 90, uh, almost 90%, right, uh, ay nagsasabi na 86%, so almost 90%, so 86%, oh, sorry, antok na, ay nagsasabi na either scam ito or wag muna, mm, wag masyadong advance mag-isip, alright, 7% hindi sure, only 7% said it's time, so, Obviously, uh, uh, hindi ito random sampling based ito dun sa certain demographic na active sa Twitter at saka certain demographic na nagpapalo sa atin. So, hindi ako nagpapanggap na scientific ito katulad ng ibang mga ka-Google trends natin at ibang uh, papanggap na may legit na survey agency. Alright? Okay. but nawala ito? Wala nga. Ay, sorry. Nawala ba ako? Bakit nag-off to on its own? Talagang itong ano na to. Okay, anyway. Nag- nagsasalita pa ako. Nag-off na lang on its own itong ano to. Anyway. So. So. Officially, ang sinasabi ng gobyerno na walang kinalaman na sa charter change. Now, yung kabila naman, parang sinasabi nila na ito talagang it's really about people's initiative. 
right? It's really about, you know, showing force, right? It's about bringing people and showing na, di ba, na ito na talaga, dun kami sa bagong Pilipinas ni BBM, etc. So it's, it's really a flexing and kind of a preview of the administration's electoral muscle ahead of midterm elections, right? Yung sa naman prayer rally and also medyo spiritual on the thing at, at it looks like it's it's also being positioned as some sort of a anti chacha and yes, to say it, anti BBM, right? Anti administration kind of rally, right? So again, uh, just to be clear, sinabi ng PCO na charter changes within the territory of the Congress, it is not part of the responsibility of the executive, meaning the Malacanang. The focus tomorrow will be specifically for Bagong Pilipinas, which is what? To communicate the government's commitments to level up services. Okay, okay whatever. Um, this is part of the, uh, so we are talking about empowering of the Filipino at its very core. Parang ano to, parang puso ito, mga ganyan. Okay, anyway, <laughs> yung kabila naman, ito ah, yung prayer rally naman sa Davao is very much being built. Hey, sorry guys, andito pala kayo, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yung prayer rally, sorry guys. Yung prayer rally naman sa Davao, it's being built naman as uh, anti-chacha. Alright, particularly anti-people's uh, initiative. Sorry guys, eh. sorry, antok na ako kayo. Medyo nakalimutan ko, binabaw ko pala yan. So, over 50,000 people from around the country daw. Daw, okay. So, tingnan natin mga drones bukas. Alright, exciting ito. Alright, um, are expected na dadalaw uh, dito sa event na ito. From across the country, so hindi lang pala Davao. Uh, so, siguro, uh, we're looking at really supporters of the DDS, uh, you know, President Duterte, etc. So, it's also a show of force by them. And, uh, yeah, it's one nation, one opposition. What? What? Wait. The Gong is gonna lead a rally in Davao? And then, ang pangalan ng rally na yan ay One Nation, One Opposition? Ano to? Opposition unity ba yan? What's going on here? Sabi nila, ito yung multi-sectoral effort uh, in in opposition dun sa uh, yung tinitignan nila mga, uh, para sa kanila yung kababalakan na nangyari ngayon. Alright? So, in a privileged speech on Tuesday, Davao 3rd District Councilor Conrado Baluran called all the on the whole country to participate dito sa peace rally that will be led by Davao leaders members of the academy at mga concerned na citizens guys suma guys bakit kayo na not sa akin saan ba kayo ngayon dapat lahat tayo pumunta dito di ba one nation one opposition di ba kasi tiwalang tiwala tayo kay tatay di ba tiwalang tiwala tayo sa mga to kasi ito ay mga paragons of good governance kasi nung time na nasa pader sila Walang problema, walang bait na duda, wala ba perfect yung management lahat. <clears throat> kamusta yung ano, pandemic management? <clears throat> kamusta yung... Okay, ito, ito. So ayon sa kanila, guys, let's be fair. Let's be fair, okay? Together with the calling for every... Together with the calling for every... Or we are calling. Together... Okay, whatever. Let's just say. Ayon, ito, 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 ito sa mga organizers. Sabi niya, together with the calling... May eyeglasses ko yan. Tandaan na tayo. Together with the call for every Filipino people to participate in this greater cause for a nationwide campaign. Davao City will remain resilient and will not just stand aside as an observer but shall take part continuously striving to unite one nation, one strong opposition. Okay, talaga yung parang biglang naalala ko yung mga style ng speech na mga, di ba? Yung mga ganyan, di ba? Mga ganern. Okay, mga ganern. Mga ganern. Okay, okay. Tapusin natin yun, guys. Interesting ito. We have to act in one goal. Dapat respetuhin po... Ah, so bisaya pala to. Puta nila. Again, sorry, I don't know. I'm just reading, guys. Is, uh, pakita ko yung may screenshot sa inyo. Because of their intention to remain in power. Aba na po. Galit pala sila, guys. Galit sila. Galit sila sa mga gusto mag-extend ng sarili na sa puder. <coughs> si tatay, <coughs> tumaktak mo. <coughs> ano ulit? Okay, alright. Guys, guys, guys. So, eto ah. Ayan. The Boenos are not for sale. Oh, ito yung sinabi niya. Okay, so, galit na galit sila dito talaga sa corruption, dito sa mga 
Kamu pa. But uh, but honestly, I'm mean, putting aside yung mga ano natin na. Ah. Mm. Wow, one nation, one opposition. And then si Digong ang mag uh, oversee ito tapos na sa Davao to. Wow, that's interesting. Which raises some very important mm, <laughs> questions, right? I mean, obviously you already know what are what, what are some very you know, questions I'm going to raise, but I mean the other thing is interestingly, there was also this uh meron din uh, isang prayer rally sa Bulacan pala ng over the weekend at eto daw ang sinabi ni yung kapatid ng ating minamahal na pangulo all right uh, daw okay baka ma magalit ka naman ma may sinunod lang tayo dun sa Nication ang lakas ng sagot ni direct uh, yep yeah, okay anyway ito uh, uh, kaya na magbasa o oh. oh, parang ang dating dito ipopost ko na lang dito is parang inimply dito na Well, not necessarily it's the president, but it's people dun sa pa, pa, paligid na presidente. No? Na, na, pagdasal natin na the president will be surrounded by the right people. So essentially, ito yung sinisabi. Ayon dito sa quote na nakikita natin. So yung post ko dito. But of course, I mean, uh, the good senator, if this is incorrect, please point it out. More than happy to post what was exactly accurate and all. But all I'm saying here is... <sighs> So is this when we're gonna see officially Duterte, or at least one Duterte, really presenting himself as opposition? So ito ba yung official na? Ito na ba yung mga official? So tatlo maga eh. Unang-una, tignan natin ilan, ilan talaga magpakita dito. Madali lang sabi na 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. Pero let's really look at numbers. Let's look at the drones. And of course, let's look at whether yung mga tao na pumupunta dyan ay taos puso talaga na pumunta dyan. Uh, 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 wala akong sinasabi. Wala akong sinasabi. Katulad ni Ronald Liamas, wala akong sinasabi. Nagtatanong, nagsas, ang sinasabi ko lang, excited lang ako, di ba? Na makita natin talaga yung mga taos pusong pumunta dyan na talagang go tayo para sa, para sa bayan, para sa magandang pamamalakad sa ating bayan ng konyong-konya. Para sa, para sa, <laughs> wala na, matutrol na naman tayo. Ito yan, ha? okay, okay. <laughs> Sabi ng isa, 3,000 lang. Guys, Guys, wala akong sinisabi dyan. Ang sinisabi ko lang ay support. Taos puso. Yung mga talagang galit. Na galit sa corruption. Yung mga galit na galit sa mga gustong mananatili sa poder. Yan. Gustong gusto ko yan. Talagang mahal na mahal na natin yung mga ganitong, mga ganitong bagay. Um, which, uh, <laughs> which raises a, a, a different question, which is, Kamusta yung opposition, yung totoong opposition? Kasi alam natin itong opposition na ito ay dating unit team, ex-unit team ito. At alam naman natin, madali mag... <laughs> ay, ayan na naman tayo. Ayaw ko na magsalita. Wala akong sinisabi. Wala akong sinisabi, guys. Wala akong sinisabi. Ang sinisabi ko lang, yes to sports, no to drugs. <laughs> Naalala ko. Mukhang may galit niyo makabig niyo. Kinakontrol ko na sarili ko. Um, <laughs> alam mo yung mga, no? yung mga beauty queen contest. Yung mga beauty pageant. Alam ko mag- marami na magalit sa akin. Diba? Yun yung mga tipong tatanin ka ng question. Alright. Candidate number ano? From Quezon City. Ganun. So, wait lang guys. Ah. Too big to by the way. Just to be clear. Oh, ito. Mineral water from Japan. Okay. Legit to. Okay, okay, ito, ito. Yan, may mga ganun. Like, candidate number, ano? That's my question. Blah, 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 blah. Tapos, ang sagot. <laughs> oh, good. Ang sagot. Thank you very much for that question. Ganun, yung person, guys. Thank you very much. Tapos, eye contact talaga sa question. Tapos, lulunok siya. Yung parang kasi, ano, yung mahilig maglunok pag sumasagot. <laughs> Thank you very much for a question. I... <laughs> <laughs> ay, tapos yun sa pa ay, tapos lahat ng tao ay, ano na yung mga tao na manonood na sila, ito na talaga ito na yung darating na yung sagot, ito na panalo na to, pang ano na to, let's go let's go <laughs> thank you very much and then mag <laughs> So, yan. For me, there's that version. 
Oh, pwede. Tapos meron second version. Ay, tapos freedom, peace, justice. Ano, tapos yung mga timo. Yes to sports, no to drugs. Thank you. Ano yung mga ganila. Yan, ano yung mga ganila. Ayan, ano yung mapapamak talaga ako. Alam mo dati, inimbita ako sa mga magjudjudge sa mga ganyan. Okay. Okay, you know what? Change topic. Okay, I'll, I'll be in trouble. I'll be in trouble. Okay, alam mo guys, that's the, actually, I'll be honest, kaya ko maging stand-up comedian kasi ang dami kong mga jokes from countries all around the world. Pero <laughs> delikado eh. So, ang delikado. Kanina lang, today lang, kasi kasama ko mga galing sa ibang-ibang bansa. Ang dami kong sinabi na napahamak na naman ako. But anyways, niyamit? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. All right, okay. Yes to sports, no to drugs. Thank you very much. Ayan, yung, yung sagot na yan, pwede yan sa lahat ng context. All right, go yan. Okay, okay. So, next time, pag nag-comment kayo sa akin, oh, thank you very much for your question. Ay, <laughs> okay, okay. Kinakontrol ko na kasi baka maingay ako dito sa kapit bahay. Okay, um... <laughs> Actually, isang dahil na pagod na pagod ako sa gabi. Kasi ako yung pinakamadal-dal para din sa mga, sa mga meetings. And... Ayaw kasi ma-board, guys. Madali ako ma-board. I mean, like, honestly, oh, wow. I prefer just to read books and, like, you know, whatever, right? You know, write and analyze and all. So, pagkasama ako na, parating, ay nako, makulit talaga ako mag -isip. Anyway, yes to sports, no to drugs. Okay, guys, don't forget that. Thank you. All right, okay. um Going back to this, So, ang question dito is, saan yung totoong opposition? Yun yung parati kong sinasabi. Kasi parang nangyari dito is, the battlefield has been parang abandoned. Akalain mo, yung mga, yung mga isang kampo na yan, sila na daw ang opposition ngayon, one nation opposition. Tapos, ang, ang, ang moto, good governance ang dating. Wait lang, parang pang ano yan. Akala ko sa mga dilawan yan. Akala ko kayo. Diba? Yun, yun nga yung sinasabi ko. Kaya nga parati, ayan, mga galit na sa akin. Ang dami naman mga galit sa akin. Hindi. <laughs> Kaya nga sinasabi ko, dapat, yung mga leaders ng opposition, huwag kayong mag-totally withdraw sa field. Or, mag-organize naman kayo. Pakita naman kayo. So, parang ngayon, ang drama... Isang Marcos dito, isang Marcos dyan, isang drama, isang dynasty dito, yung isang naman ng dating presidente. Like, nasaan na yung totoong opposition? Nasaan na yung progressive opposition? So, yun yung, yun yung point ko ngayon. Alright? Thank you very much. Alright? Di ba? Yun, yun, yung, yun yung problema ko ngayon, di ba? Kasi, <laughs> okay nang bahala sa mga, ay nako. De, dami kong gustong sabihin, pero, wait lang. Magpa-consult muna ako sa mga abogado, okay? Dadaling ko muna ang legal team natin. Kasi alam ko yung mga comedians, ang laki ng legal team nila, eh, di ba? Oh, let's go. Adin muna natin, guys. Ah. So for now, ang sagot ko lang, thank you very much for that question. Alright. Okay, <laughs> sabi nung isa, can you repeat that question, please? I mean, first, thank you very much. And then, um, I, um, thank you. Can you repeat that? <laughs> anyway, so eto, guys, ah. For me, this counter rallies on the Chacha question is showing what I've been warning about. And to circle back to where we started kanina, guys, ito yung CNN Philippines. Sa interview ng CNN Philippines ko, di ba? Yung, well, it looks like that's gonna be the last kasi ang sasara ng CNN Philippines dun sa discussion natin. Mm. Sabi ko nga, there's a serious threat na, na ang opposition ay ma, ma box out dito. Alright, mabox out dito. At dito natin nakikita in very visual, in very visceral, in very significant way na parang, eto eh, talagang kita mo eh. Pare, ang gagawin natin. So, for me, this is a, this is a, this is a warning sign uh, to the real opposition that you guys are getting boxed out. That you guys are, um, well, I mean, nasan yung totoong opposition sa issue na yan? Diba? Uh, saan na kayo? Kasi alam naman natin, marami sa atin ay nagdadalawang isip dito sa chacha na ito eh. I really look forward to some legit real surveys on whether gano karami yung mga Pilipino na talagang gustong gusto nila na magkakaroon ng charter chain. I think lahat naman tayo, gusto natin ng tunay na pagbabago na maganda. Hindi yung pagbabago na kasungahan or bara-bara, no? But, 
is charter change via people's initiative under the current circumstances really the answer to many fundamental problems we have can I you cannot fix a problem if the problem is potentially the fixer right yun yung yun yung parating challenge natin sa Pilipinas kaya no na no ako sa charter change yung panahon ni nila tatay kasi hello lalong lalo na federalismo hello sa, sa ilalim ng federalismo bibigyan mo pa ng mas maraming power puwersa yung mga trapo warlords yung mga dynasties dyan sa kung saan saan uh, lugar sa Pilipinas di ba uh, lahat naman maganda sa papel eh, but you have to analyze mag isip ka naman no? ayan na makikinig naman kayo doon sa mga bloggers bloggers dyan na naman ayan ang problema ko eh Paano naman tayo umangat sa buhay kung nakikinig lang tayo dun sa mga kung ano-ano-ano dyan, di ba? Yan ang problema natin. Alam mo, parati akong, ano, parati akong binabash ng iba dyan na, uh, mayabang ka, nagagayang. No, you know what? Mayayabangan ka lang sa akin kung alam mo naman na walang sense yung sinasabi mo. Habang siguro naman, pinag-aralan ko pa ng konti yung sinasabi ko. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na tama ako parate. Pero you know what? Kasi ganito guys eh. Ganito kasi guys. You have to call out nonsense talaga. And sometimes you you you, you need be a, be a little bit mean or something like that. So, yung isang araw, yung isa dyan na kunyari pa expert-expert sa West Philippines, eh, doon sa mga kunyari yung mga think tanks na ginawa lang kagabi. Alright? Yung mga think tank na website pa lang, alam mo na hindi totoo yan, di ba? Eh, nag-expert-expert dyan sa West Philippines, sa dindud-dud pa akong mga ganyan. Like, call out niyo mga ganyan. Eh, Ano bang, ano mo? Ano bang na-publish mo about South China Sea, West Philippines? Si Hello? Pag-Google Scholar ko, walang lumalabas. Itlog pala, zero. I mean, like, are you kidding me? Kahit yung mga legit na media international, wala, wala silang publication. I mean, wala namang, I have nothing against you. Wala kang scholarly publication, but at least, wag kang mag-feeling na expert ka. Or, siguro magaling kang journalist, then, saan yung mga legit na? So, please don't take me wrong when I say these things. Kasi, you have to separate you know, scam from from legit, right? Yun lang na sinasabi ko. And then, dun sa mga legit, pwede magkakaroon ng debate. So, you know, even like, kunyara ako, may mga issues na may disagreement ako kay Lelo Claudio, right? Paras kami academics, paras kami nagtuturo sa sa mga public universities, uh, well, UP lang naman ako, Shaw Berkeley, mga, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so, that's fair. It's okay to have disagreements and all. Pero yung iba dyan, talagang... Kunyari, expert na bigla. Biglang, kunyari, may think tank na president na tapos pinag- kung ano pinagsasabi nila. Tapos, okay, fine. Gusto mo magpanggap ng expert kayo, go ahead. Pero babastusin niyo ako and you think I'm just gonna, you know, just let it know. I'm gonna call you out. Especially if nothing to show what you're saying. Alright? Yun lang naman. Kasi yung mga nagdi-disagree sa akin na magaling talaga, never sila bastos. They will write a proper article in a legit place or in a scholarly fashion, and I'm more than happy. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, guys. When you write scholarly works, you're forced to be humbled. Alam mo bakit? Kasi kung nag-submit ka ng journal article, it goes to three reviewers and multiple rounds of of editorial supervision. Hindi lang fact-checking, hindi lang yung grammar mo, prose mo, hindi lang economy of language, but also yung analysis mo, yung... Three top experts. Will, uh, the higher the level of this, the the journal article, the more harsh means and yung mga yung mga reviews. Uh, if you write a book, even more difficult. And you know, I had to go through a lot. Uh, Marami akong sinulat mga journal articles or mga libro. You know, sometimes I got very mean, very mean um, reviewers. Sometimes good reviewers. You know, so so hindi po madali mag mag publish ng legit stuff. Kasi you have to go through peer review by the top experts and multiple rounds of revision. And I'll tell you what, uh, in one of my columns for arguably the top newspaper on earth, oh, you can guess which, which newspaper it is, is, I went through five drafts. Five drafts. Five drafts. I'll tell you, literally, naiyak ako dun sa third draft. Kasi parang, ang tingin ko, ang ganda-ganda ng sinulat ko, perfect lahat. Biglang, Gusto ng editor ng Asia, ay nung editor sa New York. Ay, so, medyo na, nabuking ko yata nung publication. Yung isang beses, okay yung editor sa New York, okay yung editor sa Asia. Biglang, ay nung isang editor kasi gusto niya isa ba. Eventually, lumabas yung article ko and guess what? I shared that page with Senator Bernie Sanders. 
So like there's that there's like an opinion page, Bernie Sanders, Richard Higarian. And I'm I'm amazingly proud of that. But it was so, so difficult. It was so so difficult. Honestly, second draft palang palang para sa akin basusan na ito, di ba? Because I'll be honest, there are many times, thank God, first draft parang almost good na ako, di ba? Uh, and I've written for Foreign Affairs, I've written for The Guardian, you can ma- di, Hindi ako nag I'm just telling you guys, ang hirap talaga to get published. Lalo kung hindi ka galing sa akin, hindi ka professor sa akin, some Ivy League school or whatever. Ang hirap talaga ma-publish ka dun sa mga top journal articles or sa mga top publications na newspaper, etc. Gano. Ang hirap talaga. So, pag binabastos-bastos ka lang ng mga kung sino-sino dyan, na obviously fake, yung iba nga makapili pa, alam niya, talaga ikaw call out mo dapat yan. Kaya, I, honestly, I, I genuinely do not believe na dapat parate mabait ka lang. Nasa Biblia po yan, there's a time for war and then there's a time for peace. Right? Klarong klaro yan. There are times you have to take the fight to the enemy. And there are times you have to be generous, you have to turn the cheek. I completely agree. But there are times you have to be tough and strong. So, anong relasyon nito? Dan sa sinasabi ko kanina. Para sa akin, yun yung pinakamalaking weakness ng totoong opposition natin throughout the 30 years and potentially above. Because ang dami dyan who are saying, Ah, YouTube, I don't do that. TikTok, I don't do that. Oh, ako, hindi ko debate niyan. I'm too good for you. Snooty sila eh. Tingin nila, bardagulan, they're too good for that. Well, guess what? Kinain kayo ng buhay nila, di kong. Yan ang naman nangyari. Tapos kay Bibian naman, ang galing nila magpa, ano, bummer jacket, BTS hair, ganyan, TikTok. O, titalo rin kayo dyan. Kahit ano yung kamehameha niya, hindi nyo matalo yan. <laughs> so, yun yung naging problema. You know, if, if you're gonna get into the realm of politics, and I'll be, uh, let me be absolutely clear about this, because, some of the staff, I'm not gonna name who, of some of these opposition leaders, na question, you know, when you talk to them, they make it make you feel as if sila lang lumalaban. But let me be absolutely clear, all right? Sa isang banda, it's the opposition leaders who are in the front, but guess who is also on the front? It's people like Christian Esquerra. It's people like you, yours truly. It's like it's like journalists. It's like people who are taking the punches live, literal live here and there. And in my case, I fought back. I called out. But at the same time, I was always ready to apologize if, if I did something wrong or I went. But at the same time, I was always willing to pay attention, to respond. Kung totong guru ka talaga, if you're a true educator and you believe in the cause, right, you have to have, you have to channel that almost prophetic kind of um, vibes, the idea that you have to really embody your truth and stand for it. Because it's so brang, so brang dali, guys. So brang, so brang dali, guys. To, to just say I'm too good for them. I'm not patient, man. Don't I na talo, eh? Don't I na talo? At you know what was so frustrating for me? What was so frustrating for me? is instead of supporting people who are actually in the front and fighting this, let's call it what it is, information warfare, all right? You know why I'm talking like this? Kasi, you know, kausap ko kanina, galing sa ibang bansa, Alemania, Hapon, I don't know, well, America sa bug, yung politika nila. Ano yung mga ibang bansa na medyo matinutino kahit pa paano yung politika nila? Kasi kinukompare ko sa, sa Pilipinas, doon ko lang na-realize, expert din sila, expert din dapat siguro ako, kaya kami kasama ganyan ganyan. Pero sila, they, didn't have to, they don't have to do what I'm doing. Pero ako, sa so tingin ko kailangan ko, kasi tinatanong nila ako eh, ay nagpa-vlog ka, parang insip na, may time ka pa mag-vlog, ba't ka nagpa-vlog eh, di ba, ano ka, di ba? So parang nagtaka sila, di ba? Sige, anong ginagawa mo? Sabi ko, no, we cannot, we cannot abandon the field to the enemy. And then I explained to them yung sistema sa Pilipinas, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So biglang na pa, ano sila, ah, okay, di ba? Sabi ko, <laughs> Well, it's not easy to, you know, write a journal of democracy or the New York Times. It's it's a, but even harder than writing a book about Duterte, writing a book about Marcus, whatever. Even harder than that is every single day fighting for truth and sanity against all odds, against the grain of all the trolling and all of that. There must be something with the water. I think from Mount Fuji, you know, it's like there's almost this kind of a sacred feeling, right? No, 
samurai, di ba? No, I'm... but this is what exactly I was warning about. If after election, there's demobilization, there's no exercise of leadership, if more than a year removed from the election, way beyond the honeymoon of PBM, kung hindi pa rin kayo organize, wala kayong soul searching, tapos yung iba, hate pa nila ako for telling, you know, I'll tell you also another thing, ah, since we're in the, you know, we're in the uh, honesty mode, And ako na rinig ng ngayon na biglang they're asking the critical questions and all of that. But a lot of these people are asking the right questions about opposition right now. They were totally silent in the first six months after the elections. I was probably the only fool out there, right? Saying it's time to move forward. Not move on, but move forward and learn. Yes, ako yung nagsasabing nasaan si ganito or nasaan si ganito. And they hated for me for that. And, and, and there were some people who said, na, oh, Richard, you don't know, blah, blah. Like, y- you, you're not the one fighting on the front. It's, it's, it's this, it's yung, yung, ano nyo, yung boss nyo, yung lumalaban sa front. Yes, but not you. Kami, kami ang inaatake on the front. Kami ang din death threat. Kami ang binabastos. Right? <laughs> you know how painful it is. When you work so hard, you write thousands of articles. You get published in the best places on earth. You go all around the world and get respect, right? From the highest kind of people. You have people like Henry Kissinger trying to call and have a conversation with me in Asia. You, you interview like prime ministers and all of that, right? And then babas bastusin ka lang na ibang kababayan mo dahil lang na hurt mo yung feelings nila dahil makakasungan lang yung yung you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Si <laughs> ikaw pang sinisisi because you're trying to engage. Eh, it's worse pa nga yung iba na gusto sa makapili ano drama you get what I'm saying but for me it is doing the right thing and I'll tell you what I'll tell you what this is the least I could do to honor the memory of Rizal because kaya nga, I get emotional every time we talk about Rizal I get extremely emotional when talking about composer these people because shocks compared sa kanila all of these threats and you know the, the 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 pain and the insults and everything it's nothing compared to vanilla Comp- it's nothing compared to vanilla right so this is the least i can do to honor the the legacy of Jose Rizal and Gomborza and all of those people our founding mothers and founding si Tandang Sora i can go on and on and on about it right all the strong women si Gabriela Silang oh ta ano pa natin yan kababayan pa natin si Ilocos yan uh Jose Borges din di ba This is less. But, but you hope that, you know, more than a year removed, oh, yung mga nagana sa watch natin, walang watch. More than a year removed. <sighs> so you're gonna be boxed out. You're just gonna be boxed out. You're just gonna be boxed out. And who's gonna, oh, imagine my Goggins. Who's gonna carry the boat, right? Who's gonna. <laughs> Yan ang sinasabi ko, mga kameta. Okay, Yan ang sabi ko, love na love ko tong social media din. Kasi once in a while, di sa'yo kita na, na, na napapano tayo. O kaysa lumabas ako mag, mag, mag ano, enjoy ng ano, Lost in Translation vibes dito. Actually, alam mo yung movie na Lost in Translation? Doon do, do, lang pala yung building nila doon. Okay, mamed. Mag-jog na lang ako or something. No, water po yan. Water, water. Water yan, okay? Diyos ko. Tignan yung ginagawa ko para sa inyo. Para sa pagmamahal sa bayan. Nagtutubig na lang ako sa harap na nagdadrama-drama. But I'll tell you what, another thing that got me emotional today, I was talking to a Japanese friend about history and all. Kasi, uh, yung Oppenheimer came up, ba? Diba? So obviously, alam niyo naman, Oppenheimer is about nuclear bombs. Guess what, kanina yung kasama ko pa, taga, pa, taga Hiroshima pa. So, obviously, medyo intense yung conversation. You know where the conversation went at some point? We were talking about a lot of crazy tendencies, nationalism, whatever. And then, sabi na itong hapon na friend ko, actually, kami 100 years ago nasimulan namin itong grievance, you know, proto, I, I don't know, I don't want to use the F word, but you know what I'm going to talk about, di ba? Um, and then, and then we talked about Rizal. We talked about the Illustrados. We talk about Katipuneros, who were here in Tokyo more than 100 years ago, 
right? And they were not only fighting for the Philippines against the American Empire. Actually, habang uh, habang sinisabi ko yan, katabi ko Amerikano pa. Binabash-bash ko lang yung Amerikano. Harap-harapan. So, may, may friend ako sa India, may friend ako sa Japan. So, binabash ko. Eh, habang ito yung mga Amerikano, blah, blah, blah. Ito mga ilustrado natin. Ito mga katipunero natin. Invoking the memory of Rizal organized students from all around Asia. Students from China. Students from India. Students from Korea. You don't believe me, read the book Underground Asia. Kung tinamat kaya, at least read my review of the book Underground Asia sa Mekong Review. It's a brilliant book. So all these international students from India, from, from Korea, from all these colonized countries in the region came together and then they raised, I'm not mistaken, a picture ni Rizal. And they presented Dr. Rizal as a symbol of the Asian nationalist hero. That was the case more than 100 years ago dito sa Tokyo. Dito sa Tokyo. Right? Dito sa Tokyo. So, I'm just reminding you of the greatness that our beautiful nation created and the tragic sacrifices they had to make for us. And then today, we have nothing but a bunch of snowflake people who cannot take hate online they hate people who criticize them and point out their weaknesses they're not willing to engage they're not willing to learn they're not willing to soul search they're not willing to accept their shortcomings ayan box out good luck is this how we're gonna honor the memory of Rizal and those people who fought for us I don't know I don't know I, I always say of course hindi madali ang politika sa Pilipinas hindi madali yung laban natin para sa demokrasya, sa mahunlat na bayan. I mean, of course, na, nalungkot din ako. Kasi sa isang banda, pag pinag-usapan namin si Rizal, din na sa isang banda, sasabihin ng isang kaibigan ko, baka lang konti ng investment sa Philippines. Eh, sabi nung isa, aminin ko ha, konti lang investment namin dyan kasi yung presidente nyo, di ba yung ganyan niya, ganyan ganyan, o. Oh. Di ba? So, that's my point. So nakakalungkot kasi nakikita mo, bati sila na frustrated para sa atin. Na, how did a country like the Philippines? Remember, Japan chose Manila as the headquarters of the Asian Development Bank. The Asian Development Bank, the biggest development bank outside the West. Practically outside World Bank and IMF probably and the European Central Bank, whatever. Came to Manila in the 60s, right? The decision, by the way, was made before Marcos Sr. All right, let's get the facts right. The construction was there, but... So, this was during Makapagala administration, by the way. And then they look at the Philippines, how we're behind practically like Vietnam, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia. We're not even comparable to Taiwan and South Korea. So, you know, and then you talk about Rizal and all of that. So, my point is, how do we go from point A to point Z, right? Kung ganyan na lang nangyayari sa ating bansa, o oh, yung opposition natin, ganyan daw. <laughs> Kalahin mo. Biglang pagod governance and all these grupo na yan, diba? O oh, sige, yes to charter change. Yung isa sa atin na followers talaga natin, believe na believe sa people's initiative. Sige, believe kayo sa PI, bahala kayo, bahala kayo sa PI. Good luck na lang sa PI, Philippine Islands, diba? Yun lang, yun lang mga kasensei. Right? I hope I hope you understand, you know, san san galing ito mga hindi ito hugot eh kasi ang hugot is just emotions eh. In, in my case it's not just emotions, 'di ba? Pinag-aaralan natin tong mga bagay na to. Pinaga Pero nga, eh, there's just uh <laughs> there's just so much one person can do. Uh unless, 'di ba? Unless, 'di ba? Unless we we create a new culture, a new approach, 'di ba? We we pass this down, 'di ba? So yun, so, I'm just telling you guys, like, other people, uh, yeah, syempre, nagpo-post ako ng mga pocket picture and all of that, but actually, those are like in between, it's very serious stuff, like simulating a war scenario and all. You know, other people, you know, other, well, let's just put it on this, uh, yung mga ibang kaubayan natin, nag-abroad, ang unang inisip na iba, ay, ang ganda dito, walang kwenta yung kapansan natin, or sasabihin nila, ay, walang dito, lilipat na ako, or walang, or ay, sa aking bansa, ako parang, pumunta ako abroad, tapos isipin ko, 
anong, ma- anong matutunan, matutunan natin dito na pwede natin apply sa atin? Or actually, I even think it this way, how we were ahead of these countries at some point, now they're ahead of us, but how we can get ahead of them again or we can catch up them again? Constructive. But I'll tell you what, weakness ko talaga every time maalala ko si Rizal. Kasi, you know, I have friends in Malaysia whose name Rizal. I have friends in in Indonesia, ambassador pa to ah, Rizal ang pangalan. Alright? Lahat sila, mga Rizal ang pangalan. Ah, bakit sa tingin mo Rizal ang pangalan nila? Ito yung napakatalino ng pakagaling ng mga tao. Because sa respeto nila kay Rizal. Right? So, yan po ang level natin. Alright? On that note, thank you very much. Eh, medyo napagod na ako. Ayan. Pagod na rin mga ibang troll. Uh, oh, yung mga... Oh, so, let's see tomorrow. Let's see the PI... Ano? Pro-PI, anti-PI. Ano bang... Ano natin dyan? Okay, tignan natin bukas. Lagyan natin ng Rambo music. Then, 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 ano yung Eye of the Tiger ba yan? Yung song ni Rambo. Lagyan natin yan. Alright? Alright, lagyan natin yan. Okay? So... Thank you very much uh, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa atin. Thank you very much sa mga nakikinig sa atin sa, sa Pilipinas. Thank you sa mga kameta natin. Thank you very much. God bless. Ah, alam niyo na, once in a while, pag medyo emotional, nagtutubig tayo from Mount Fuji, lumalabas yung totong ulay natin. All right? and, and, I, and I have no shame of that. I am a serious person. I am a serious person. I am really a serious I am a very serious person. Kaya nga kailangan ko ng humor. Eh, kasi otherwise, do. <laughs> Diba? You just have a sneak peek of what I'm thinking about, right? So, yeah, kailangan natin na medyo kulit and all. But, you know, in light of what happened to our colleagues in CNN Philippines, I just found it, I cannot bring myself to make jokes or anything like that because there's some very, really serious and really troubling things happening uh, in our media industries as far as truth industry is concerned. Journalists are not perfect, sure, but my goodness, kumpara mo naman sila dun sa mga trashy, buljak, and whatever, nonsense out there pretending to be expose you know like binabuljak yung isang site pero yung mga kalokohan corruption ng kalbalang site mm, silent there's like yung, yung, yung travel expenses ni ganito pero yung travel expenses ka lang mm, yung confidential pa yung confidential mm. para naging ano yan totoong ano yan di ba o, alam niya na all right on that note thank you very much mga kameta please drink good water oh yan in endorse next time baka yung mga gusto magpa-endorse ng tubig all right healthy lifestyle o, yung mga nagtatanong ng skin care o wag kayong uminom Okay, magsigarilyo. No smoking, no drinking, gano'n. Uh, soup. Alright, okay. No carbs at night. Alright, okay. And uh, tingnan natin makahabol pa rin ng konting takbo. Okay, thank you very much. God bless. Thank you very much. Uh, gracias. Obligado. Alright, maraming tayong mga followers from all around the world. Okay, obligado. Uh, gracias. Tomo arigato. Alright? And on that note, have a blessed day. Of, of course, alam niyo naman, Sunday. Sabbath day yan, so uh, you, you don't have to be, you know, of certain religion. I just believe one day of every week you should dedicate it uh, to the Almighty. And one way of honoring uh, His blessings is doing soul searching and spending time with your family and loved ones. All right? God bless and talk to you soon. Gracias.